Today we're showcasing WP Forms. Today I'll walk you through how to create a request, a quote form for your WordPress website. And we'll cover it step-by-step step so you can get up and running quickly. For instance, say you are a roofing company or you're a local service company and you wanna create a request form for your site. For instance, this is a get a free estimate. We've got a button up here. We also have this form down here. I'll show you how you can get that for your website. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to your WordPress dashboard. We'll be installing a plugin called WP Forms and you can get started with their light version, but to show you all the features and all the ability that WP Forms can do, I'll be showing you the paid version. With the paid version, you get things like being able to view all of your form entries in one location. You can also automate a bunch of your business processes. When you're ready to upgrade to the paid version, just head over to WP Forms, do forward slash WP Beginner, and that will give you the best discount on WP Forms. So once you log into your WP Forms account, you can go to Downloads, and from here you can download WP Forms locally to your desktop. While we're here, let's go ahead and also copy the license key and then we'll head back over to our dashboard. And from here, let's go to plugins, add new. And instead of searching for the plugin, we're going to upload it because we just downloaded it from WP Forms. You can either choose file or if you see it down here, you can left click, drag it up and then click install now. Now we'll go out and install WP Forms and you'll also want to make sure you stick around to activate it as well. Great, once it's activated, you'll see this area where it encourages you to create your first form. You can either come here, but we'll show you how to do it. If you ever need to come back, we now have this area on the left called WP Forms. You can go over and click Add New. And right out of the box, it has a few templates that you can choose from from the outset. So they've already created a request, a quote form. So let's go ahead and click on this. And now we have this quote form. So we can go in here and change anything up. If I click on the title, then I can say roofing request, name it whatever you want. You can go back up to field so we can take a look at the quote request. You can add or remove any of these fields that you want. You can also quickly change them. For instance, for name, I tend to like to go to simple. So it's just one long text box. You can also drag these up and down if you want. Sometimes with quote requests, you have checkbox or a drop down where you're asking specific questions like if you need a full roofing repair or a full replacement, something like that. So you can fill out the quote form and make it look however you want. Great. That looks pretty good for me. I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go ahead and save it. And then there's a couple of other things that we want to do for this. The next thing we want to do is we want to take a look at settings because we want to make sure that we set up our notifications. These are the emails that you get. And then with the paid version or higher, you can also set up another notification so you can send it out maybe to the person who just requested it, you can send them an email with all the information that you just received. But for this one, we are going to adjust the send to email address. This is what will come to you by default. It brings in the admin email from the website, but you can put this in from your company. You can also change the email subject to something that's a little bit more specific. And then you can even bring in smart tag. So if you show smart tag, you can even bring in their name so that the email subject will be something different every time. That's actually a really good thing. And then the from name, that's, you can also show these smart tags as well here. And then under the messages, it will just simply bring in all of the fields from your form. So that looks pretty good. We're going to save that. The other thing we wanna make sure that we have is the confirmation. So when they fill out the form, they get a simple confirmation and you can choose to just have a quick message that pops up on the page. And it just says, hey, thanks for contacting us. We'll be in touch shortly. You can change this here. You also wanna make sure you have this automatically scroll to the confirmation so that they'll see this confirmation. But the cool thing is you can also change it to either show a thank you page. You can also redirect them to a completely new URL. But we'll keep this as just a message and we'll save that. Now that everything is saved, we need to put it on our website. So you can click embed here and I'll say, hey, do you want to put it on an existing page that you already have or do you want to put it on a new page? Let's go ahead and say existing page. We want to put it on the home page. So let's click that and say, let's go. And then it will open up my home page and it tells you, hey, you can add the block here. So let's say, okay. So this is my home page and I want to add it here. I want to put it underneath this request a free estimate. So I'm going to put it here. We can either click on the add block button here or come up to the blue add block button up here. I'm going to click on the button. And if you don't see it, it's usually easy to just start searching for it as well. WP Forms. This is the one we want. 
and then it'll bring that in and then you can also select the form that we just created so i'm going to select that one and then that will bring that in here great that looks good so let's go ahead and update it and then we can look at the page and see it in action scrolling down here is the new request a quote page and when they fill it out, you see how it scrolled down and said, hey, thanks for contacting us. We'll be in touch with you shortly. And then we can also head over to entries so we can see how many entries there are. And then when you want to get even more quotes for your business, then you'll want to look at something like adding Optin Monster to your website. Optin Monster is a great lead generation opt-in and conversion rate optimization plugin for your site. With Optin Monster, you can create beautiful pop-ups that increase the conversion rates on your site and gets more customers for your website. To get started, you can head over to OptinMonster.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP and you'll get the best discount on Optin Monster. And if you want to find more ways to grow your business using WP Forms, make sure you watch this video next where I walk you through 17 power hacks to grow your business online using WP Forms. And I'll see you over there.